So now we're going to learn about a different type of measurement, an area measurement, and the units that we use to make these measurements. In the last unit we learned about linear measurements. These are measurements that measure lengths and distances, like the length of a straight line or the length of a curved path. But to measure how much space a shape takes up on a surface, we need to make what's called an area measurement. So for example, an area measurement would tell us how much space this, this square takes up on our page or on our screen. Because this is a different type of measurement than a linear measurement, it's going to have different units. So area measurements, because they're covering the space that's covered, we call the units square units. So area measurements are made in square units, or we sometimes will write squared as a little two, so we could say units squared. And I'll show you a couple of examples of what that looks like. So let's take a square that has side lengths of one centimeter. So here's a square that we have with one centimeter on each side. This square has an area of A equals one square centimeter. So again, that area is this area that it covers, or the space that the square takes up. So if we look at the bigger rectangle, we can count the number of square centimeters in that rectangle. Here's one, two, three, four along the first row, five, six, seven, eight along the second row, nine, 10, 11, 12 along the third row. So in total, there are 12 square centimeters, and this time I'll write it as centimeters squared with the little two.